I went to Dargaville in March 1993 for AIDS and Awareness Week. I was the guest of honour and there was a special Merry Welcome. Somebody put lemon juice in there this morning. Guess who's arrived? Hey! I went to talk to schools and tell them about AIDS. Um, Eve's going to tell you a little bit about how she contracted HIV, which is the uh, uh, AIDS. So she's going to tell you a little bit about the history of how she, she, how she got it and how she's living with AIDS today. Okay, and then we'll answer your questions afterwards, okay? Seven weeks old, I had 11 blood transfusions, and the third to last one had HIV. When I was the age of eight, I contracted AIDS, and this time last year, I contracted the full blown AIDS. So now I live with a full blown AIDS, which is a lot harder to handle with because you have to take all the drugs and all these things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Disneyland, did they let you in free? I just hope, hope all of you, if you date somebody with the HIV or AIDS virus, you can love one another but you need to have the safe thing between you, like safe sex. You always have a condom with you if you want to have sex with your, your lover. Thank you, Eve. That's a second kiss you gave me. Adrena. Oh, no. okay. What a weird name. <laughs> <laughs> Being grapefruit is not so easy, but I, I know how to spell it now. <laughs> When you come up to a child with HIV or AIDS, you have to put your hand out. You don't walk away from them or like if there's somebody comes to you and asks for help you don't <coughs> shut your door on them because they need help. I've lived through my years with love and care from other people and especially my mum and I just want all of you to let them know that you love them and that you're always there for them if they need a hand. The two days that we have spent here has taught us a lot that we hope to go out and do the things that you are asking us to do. We older people are supposed to be teaching the younger ones. And I think your place here and your time here with us 
has taught us many things. And when you go back to Heretonga, I know that you will take all the aroha from the people of the North with you. green stone. She had never been seen without it before. Okay. But she gave it to me. She said every time she gets worried, she wants it. Everybody at home. Do you know how to hong it? No. Like this. Put your nose against mine. Everybody was crying, wanted to hug me and give me a kiss and, and everything. And they used to give me little messages that you be strong and I love you or something like that. And it was really nice. Mm. It made me feel nice and peaceful and calm, strong. You lost your two front teeth. Yeah, because he ate too many lollies. <laughs> Thank you for bringing her. There we go. Ooh, now there's some nice lips to kiss. Oh. There you go. Thank you for taking your time. Oh, you're beautiful. I'd just like to say thank you to Dagerville and all the schools for letting me be here this week and explaining about AIDS and Stephen is the third best doctor that I've got. <laughs> Did you make any friends when you were here? Did you meet any young people your age? It was kind of tough. Well, yeah, I met quite a few te ten year olds, but they were, they were, um, they're a bit taller than me. A bit taller. Yeah. And you're a bit older, right? you're ten years old, aren't you? Which does make it a little tougher. Because I'm turning eleven soon. Do you have good friends at home now? I've got two special friends. It's Jeremy and Rachel. Are they friends from where? From school? Um, no, one's in Christchurch and Jeremy also has AIDS and he's got pneumonia at the moment and both lungs. Okay. And I'm going to see him at least two times, just get some time with him. 